Hey y'all. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can fabric shop for swimsuits. And if this is the first time on my channel, hey, I'm Whitney Lou, and this is my DIY channel where I show you how to make your own clothing. Um, and it'll probably be a little bit of other DIYs too down the line. But basically, this is a DIY fashion channel. So I'm going to be showing you guys today how to go fabric shopping for your swimsuits since this month is Hot Girl Summer Swimsuits. This video was actually requested by Roslyn Passivat. If I'm butchering your name, girl, I'm so sorry. And I need some chapstick. This video was requested by one of my subscribers, so thank you for requesting this. I think this month, in between my tutorials, I will be posting um, question videos, and I have a new series that I'm working on that I'll be posting this month too. So yeah, just you need to click the bell notification so that you can start watching my videos. Like, what are you doing? You're a seamstress, you sew, you do for a hobby, you wanna be interested, you wanna start your own clothing line, whatever it is, you need to press the subscribe button, press the bell notification button so that you can get up to date with my videos. And then when you're done doing that, watch some of my other videos. Um, yeah, so we're gonna start off by what fabrics you should be looking for. And I'm just gonna go into some school words for you. The swimsuit fabrics that you will be looking for, they are called, and I have my phone right here just because I can't say everything off the top of my head, but you will be looking for a nylon fabric, polyester, spandex, or neoprene. So those are the four fabrics that are really good for swimsuits. Of course, if you don't plan on going inside the pool, you don't need to get these type of swimsuit fabrics. You can actually get like velvet or a type of knit that you think looks cute especially if you're just sitting on poolside just trying to be cute those are some good fabrics for that maybe even satin but those will be considered leisure wear not swimwear and we're just going to focus on swimwear today so you're going to need nylon polyester spandex or neoprene for your swimsuit fabrics so i'll be posting in some clips of me being in joanne fabrics i actually live in austin texas and they literally have no fabric stores none at all like zero and I've asked around and they said they all closed so my only option to show you guys today is Joanne fabrics but that's okay because I'm pretty sure there's a Joanne's fabrics in every city so in Joanne's fabrics they usually have um their fabrics in certain sections by the type usually there's like a bridal wear section cosplay um a knitwear section um what is it special occasions stuff like that so all those things are in different areas of the store and in joanne's and my store instead of saying swimsuit section it said performance wear and i'll be showing you a clip right here where you will see where the performance wear and what the sign looks like and performance wear is really good for swimsuits and athletic wear because it's sweat resistant and it dries faster so those are the areas in joanne that you need to look at also if you're trying to get some fun super nice colors i will look in the cosplay section because they usually have like the metallics the um the what is it the pleather you can use the cosplay section too because it's stretchy material majority of all of that in there is spandex um only use the spandex things if it doesn't stretch don't use it also in joanne fabrics they actually have like a sequin section and i have like a pile of fabric right here that I'll be showing you guys um, just for visuals of what you can look forward to when you're fabric shopping. In the performance section, you will see regular spandex, lycra spandex, and it's usually in the um, vibrant colors like hot pink, what is it, neon green, yellows, red, blues, and you'll see what it looks like. It's a little bit shiny, it has a little bit of sheen to it. Those are the lycra fabrics. And then they have performance mesh fabrics, and it's usually in your nudes colors like beige black white um sometimes they have like a dark brown and you can use those for the color blocking type fabrics you know when you have like a solid panel up here and then a section of it is a um, mesh fabric that's what that's for and then the other type of fabric on there is a swimsuit linings usually they in joann's at least they only have like black or white so you can use those as the linings and on my tutorials i usually only use black 
um, white looks dirty, so I would just recommend using a black. So, when you're online, the main thing that you need to do is to type in, I guess you would just go to Google and the main places that I like to get my swimsuit fabric from if I was going to order online would be Spandex World, Fabric.com, but I will put that on the bottom of the list and I'll tell you why. And then Etsy. Etsy is a good place to find some interesting fabrics that you want to use for your swimsuits if you want unique things. They have a lot of different types of fabric stores on there so you can find things on there. So you just type in on Google um, swimsuit fabrics on Etsy and then Etsy will pull up all the swimsuit fabrics that you could possibly think of and then it'll give you recommendations usually like lycra or knit fabrics sometimes it'll like interchange saying hey this is good for athletic wear hey this is good for swimwear so it'll give you some other suggestions that you might not think of that are good for swimwear and they'll put that on there same thing on fabric.com when you type in the search bar swimsuit fabric is going to bring up everything that is good for swimsuit fabric or it's good for something in that realm like athletic wear and you can just go through there and choose those fabrics personally i wouldn't want to buy my swimsuit fabric off of fabric.com i actually have some fabrics right here these right here i bought from fabric.com and i purposely wanted swimsuit fabric because i was going to cabo and i wanted to make my own swimsuits unfortunately i didn't have enough time because of finals but here nor there but these are the swimsuit fabrics that i bought off of fabric.com and personally to me they feel like a knit fabric that you would wear on a t-shirt i can see that it's water resistant but it feels like a t-shirt to me so i wouldn't suggest buying the knit fabric on fabric.com unless it's a lycra or a power mesh or a neoprene this is the type of fabric that you'll find in the cosplay section you might find it in the power um, performance wear sections it's just a metallic lycra and i really love this also in the cosplay if you guys seen on my balenciaga tutorial this um what is it holographic y'all know the terms for these fabrics i don't this holographic fabric would be good for swimsuits too even though once you scratch this fabric it's done but if you're doing this for um like pictures only or you're having a photo shoot or something and you need a cute swimsuit this would be really good for photo shoots um i just wouldn't recommend wearing this as like an everyday type swimsuit um if you guys saw my last bandu tutorial this is some cheetah or leopard print fabric that i got from joann's i think this is just um a polyester spandex fabric that i found in the knit section at joann's fabrics and if you can't find the section please just ask somebody that works there they will show you exactly where you need to go this is the the lining that i showed you guys earlier um it's just black lining it's smooth to the touch it's really matte nothing really special about it it stretches it's kind of see-through but it's supposed to be for lining not for actually on your body and that's that fabric okay and then like i said before that you can use sequin fabric like the one that i have on or you can use the um sequin fabric that's on spandex like this one i would suggest using this one on swimsuits just because it's thicker and the sequins don't catch each other like this one does this is really cheap kid fabric that i made a shirt from for new year's this year but it literally catches itself over and over again and that's not good for swimsuits and i feel like this type of sequins will scratch up your skin while this one won't scratch it up as much but this is but this will look really good on um a swimsuit bikini you know stuff like that and just to add in this video while you're fabric shopping for swimsuits you can use any type of thread that you want to use um serger thread like these and you can use little spool threads like these it doesn't really matter um 
on swimsuits because there's a technique on how you need to sew it which i show you guys in my videos how to sew these things but you can just buy regular thread and make sure that it matches your fabric as close as possible and that's really all you need for swimsuits some swimsuits do require elastics um i have some regular white elastic and then I actually have swimsuit elastic too, which I haven't used in a long time. I bought this when I was in college and I haven't used it since, but it's just a natural cotton elastic and it's super stretchy. You can use these on swimsuits too. In my future swimsuit videos, I'll be showing you how to use elastic on some of them. So you purchase your swimsuit fabric, you purchase your lining fabric, you need matching threads, and sometimes you'll need elastic. Depending on what type of design that you need, you might need to buy like underwire for your boobs, but those are when you're going into like really designing swimsuits, but just for basic swimsuits, you'll only need your fabric, your lining, and your matching threads. So this is all the information that I can think of pertaining to fabric shopping for swimsuits. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment down below. If you have any other questions that you want to ask me and you want me to make a video, leave those comments down below. Ask your question down below. Please hit the bell notification and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.